So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build another string guard. In one of my last ones, it got 50,000 views, which I'm really shocked on. So thank you guys for the support. If you're wondering what that is in the background, you'll eventually know what that is. That is for my 1,000 subscriber special video, which is coming up. If you guys want to see that video, please hit the subscribe button. So with that, we'll get into this video. So you need a sheet of wood, pencils, a straight edge, a hammer, string, spray paint, a tape measure, and sandpaper. The total length is around 52.8 centimeters and the width is around 60.5 centimeters. So the very first step is pretty simple. Just take a pencil and your straight edge and make a clean line from one corner to the next corner. I'm doing it from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. Next, take your tape measure and go to the very corner and measure five centimeters back and make a mark. Do this on both sides. For the next step, that helps a lot to have a flat ruler, but basically what you wanna do is start on either tick that you just created, five centimeters from the edge and mark off every centimeter. You wanna mark it for the whole length of this line. Just to make this even, I added one extra centimeter to the very end to get a total length of 72 centimeters. So the very center is 36, so I just marked that out. You're gonna need to do this to help you in the next few steps. This part by far is probably one of the hardest parts in this project, but you basically wanna make a giant backwards S. So once you have that done, the next step is to add 72 marks starting right here. Go all the way around the curve. Your curves don't be perfect and you can pretty much do whatever you want. You just want to make sure that you add those 72 marks. Now you're ready to start hammering in the nails. Depending on what type of wood you got, your nails should stick out about one centimeter or roughly like half an inch. If you're wondering, these are the type of nails I'm using. It's just regular wire nails with the flat head. Alright, so finally, now that all your nails are hammered in, it's time to spray paint this thing. I usually like to just spray paint it black because I feel like it makes the string stand out more. So once your board is thoroughly coated with spray paint or lacquer or varnish, whatever you're going to do, just let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. The board has finally dried, so now it's ready to start stringing it up. You're going to need four colors of string. It doesn't really matter. I'm doing these colors to mimic the ocean. You're also going to need scissors. So for my first color, I'm just using this dark green. And to start off, you want to count to the 25th nail on this side. You need to start on this side or the other side. They're the exact same, so it really doesn't matter. Once it's tied off, what you want to do is bring it back to the first nail right here and loop it around. Once you looped it around, bring it back to the 24th nail on this side and then bring it to the second nail diagonally on this side. Now you bring it back to the 23rd nail and the third nail, the 22nd nail and the fourth nail. You can see it's a simple pattern, so you just want to continue this process until you get to the 25th nail on this diagonal side. Once you get to the 25th nail, loop it around and bring it back to the first nail over here and just tie it off. And there you go, you got one fourth of the project done. Now I'll just repeat this process on the other side. So now with your second color, do the exact same process but only count to the 20th nail. We got both of these corners done, and now we just gotta fill in these empty areas with our last two colors. So take your next color, doesn't really matter. Also, each color will take up one section. So this dark blue is gonna take up this section, and that light blue is gonna take that section. It's not gonna be like this where they overlap. So I'm gonna start off with the dark blue in this section. So this may be a little complicated, but it's actually very similar to how we did these, but basically starting up here, coming all the way down here and repeating that process, but going around this curve. So you'll see what I mean in a sec. Hmm. 
To start off, just tie this thread onto the first nail and bring it over to the opposite nail. Then bring it back to the second nail in the curved section and the second nail in the diagonal section, the third nail in the curved section, and the third nail in the diagonal section. And you just keep going back and forth until you complete the process. So now to finish it off, all you have to do is fill in this section but with your last and fourth color. So we'll do that right now. Actually, we'll do this. So yeah, I got the last part on and it is finished. I think it looks pretty good and I think my mom would like it. Overall, this was a pretty easy and fun project to do and I think anyone can do it. If you guys want more string art videos, just let me know. But here's what it looks like hanging up in my room. So here's a project finally hanging up in my room. Part of these nails are for other projects that I'm currently doing. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more string art, just leave a comment down below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.